Glenda and Fabona. This international seminar is very timely since the K-12 curriculum is already in its full implementation. So as a K-12 teacher, I would like to equip myself with the latest strategies and new innovations in teaching so that I would be able to deliver effectively the instructions to my students. I am Levi Banas. Now, I'm actually very happy that I attended the seminar conducted by the PACAE. I was very happy to give a series of lectures on CLEAR and was able to share with the course participants or the seminar participants uh, what we did in some Southeast Asian countries with regard to CLEAR. Um, I must say that the participants were very, very responsive and very enthusiastic and as a presenter, I felt so assured of myself when I delivered the lecture. To the participants, it's really important for us to understand how content and language can be integrated inside the classroom because we want our students to be holistic, not just you know good at language, but also know what they're talking about and that's what we're talking about, content. Good day. I am invited to talk about two topics in this seminar workshop. One is on literature-based instruction and the second is on content area vocabulary instruction. I am privileged to uh, discuss this with you because I believe that this will help you as teachers in having an elbow room to make the curriculum as it expects us to do, uh, fun field, enjoyable, and at the same time allows our students to learn other aspects. Since I attended the seminar, I actually learned a lot. First is that it is very important to, to collaborate that other subject areas, uh, subject teachers, for example, math, science, and others, should all should really collaborate with the language teacher because technically the medium of instructions for those two subjects is English. Clear is an approach that I strongly believe should be promoted because um, when we use English as a medium of instruction for both the teaching of the language as well as content subjects such as math, science, history, geography, I think it's important to for the teachers, both the language teachers as the subject teachers, to be aware of the importance of language. As a language teacher or a content teacher, we need to strike a balance between content and language. And if we're going to focus on content and integrate language, we must see to it that content still is preserved while transcending it towards language where students are able to, to talk about, converse about the content. speakers, I would like to commend them both because they are both knowledgeable and they know everything about their topics. Um, everything that they discussed leaves a mark on me and makes me realize more and understand better about the role of a language teacher. And also, I am very happy with the speakers that the PACAA got. They are actually very knowledgeable with their topic and they're very kind. They did not make the, the, the seminar dull or boring. At the same time, they were able to explain clearly their topics in a simple, elaborate, and understandable manner. So this is what I hope I can help the seminar participants, you know, to dissem disseminate the ideas and the strategies that have worked in the classroom using the CLEAR approach or using the content-based instruction approach. We have to leave a legacy to our students and to the Philippines. There are only two teachers that we, our teachers and our students will remember. One, the best teachers. Second, the worst teachers. I challenge you to choose which one would you like to be remembered when you're gone in this world. I mean, that's too far-fetched to think about, but then again, uh, our students will leave, will understand and will remember us who we are as a teacher. 
uh, literature-based instruction should be enjoyable for us, whereas vocabulary instruction should give them chance to interact with other people with a wide range, more sophisticated um, subject-based words. Um, this is so relevant for us as we implement the K-12 curriculum. I would like to thank the organization, the PACAE, for organizing or continuously organizing uh, this uh, seminars like this. And I'm looking forward to attending more of their seminars. I am actually very thankful that there is this kind of organization that exists. It's because they were able to help teachers all around the nation or the Philippines and hopefully all around the world. And opportunity to share what we did in some countries in Asia with regard to using the CLEAR approach that is the content and language integrated learning approach to support both the content teachers as well as the language teacher to help the students to learn better and acquire better results. Again, thank you very much for, for inviting me here and I really had fun and I hope when you go back to your own stations, everything that you learn here would, would not just be knowledge, but actual information that you will apply in your own classrooms. I am so grateful that uh, the organization has given us this chance to discuss, to know more of, and to become innovative teachers. And so teachers, uh, let this be a chance for you to grow, to invent, to reinvent yourself, and to become teachers who enjoy teaching. Thank you so much.